I have one of my pieces uh, named Under the she Under, I believe it's Under the Sheets. Uh, we were doing a still life, and what it was, was we were practicing with cloth and values of light. First we would put a still life under it, but then she put a skeletal uh, body in it. And uh, well, uh, and I ended up doing the, the cloth, and without me knowing, then I have to look back, it actually looked like there was a body underneath it, so I was very happy with that one. And then on one of mine, we had a, me, I'm, I always like to draw on my own. So I was sitting in my car one day and I was in a mellow tone and I always view an image like on the side and I'll focus and I took pictures. I took maybe 10 pictures and I picked which one was the best and I drew it. And it was my self-portrait, it ended up being a project that we had a picture realism. Picture realism in that piece and that really turned out very well and I put it in the show. And then another, we were working with still lifes again, like we always do in class. But uh, this one ended up turning out really well, uh, looking really lifelike. And I was very happy with it. And I also put that one in the show. I have three pieces in right now, two still lifes and my photorealism picture, which I am very happy with. Uh, my name is Nathan Hernandez. I am from Kingsland, Texas, up north near Austin, Central Texas. I came down here to Coastal Bend to get my teaching certificate in art. So which ones are yours? Okay, um, I actually have those two at the top. Megan Saunders, we're here at Coastal Bend College. Um, we're in the art program and this is our 2012 art show. Actually, we started about 30 minutes ago and we already sold about $500 worth of work. Um, I've been doing art since I was seven years old and I've had a lot of friends here at Coastal Bend College. I've been here for three years, so I'm working towards my associates, eventually my master's to teach art. Um, I've been selling art for three years now in the same art gallery. 
and uh, I'm from Woodsboro, Texas. I'm originally from Ingleside. It's just, it's just been really fun to come out here and enjoy everything that everybody's looking at and seeing everybody's expressions and stuff. So thank you so much. Hi, my name is Melissa Joyce. I am 20 years old. I'm from Beeville, Texas right now, and I'm going to uh, the community college here, Coastal Bend. So, um, yeah, well, I actually grew up most of my life here. I've traveled um, different cities in Texas, but uh, the longest I've lived was in Beeville. And um, I've always really liked creativity and art, um, especially music, actually. And I also do things like um, jewelry making, and I've always liked painting and involving different type of medias in paint. So, and that's actually what I also was able to do in a lot of my paintings here, which I will later show you. This one's called Just Passing By. Um, this is an image I saw off the internet, but um, basically I added a lot of background to it. Um, the theme for each, the theme for this painting was multimedia. With every painting we have um, a different theme for the week. So this one we were supposed to add um, different types of media with watercolor. Like uh, for example in this painting, I used different assortments of sandpaper. Uh, there's three different types of sandpaper here. As you can tell, like the orange one, the brown one with white on it, and then the darker black-brown. Um, two of them are used, like these two. And also, I used different assortments of fabric, which I um, cut and glued onto paper to make it easier to uh, paste onto here. And also, I added watercolor to shade the fabric to um, show the depth in his um, legs and whatnot. But yeah, and also, Actually, in the, if you look at the bicycle pegs, I sewed in wire into here, which I've just bought at Walmart, and I sewed in string into here for his shoelaces. And um, pretty much the rest is just watercolor, like the shading of the concrete background and the actual shadow, except for I used um, silver Sharpie for the bicycle handle and also to accent the bicycle tire itself and to put within the granite of the sandpaper wall. And yeah. on to the next. Okay. Did you have two? Mm, yeah, I have a lot. Uh, th uh, this Let's one. do at least two. Yeah. Be this one here is fine. Right okay. Yeah, because it's right there. Hi! Yeah. Um, so this one is called Elusive. Um, basically the theme for that week was supposed to be um, Indian folklore. So um, we had a stack of cards that we'd had to pick an animal from and that we had to do it based upon. And so mine was uh, the lizard. So um, the lizard represented uh, dreams and elusiveness, so that's why I named it Elusive. And I tried to use um, just basic um, wet on wet here for the color of, um, the different, of the different things framing it. So I just tried to make it centering on the lizard. And um, I try to use a lot of vivid colors to um, just like dreams would show. Yeah, so I wanted to really show like a dreamlike and elusive state. My name is Patricia Evans. I am the grandmother of Ashley. Brady. Uh, I'm so very proud of Ashley. She did a drawing of me off of an old photograph in a uh, flipper's outfit. This is my granddaughter Ashley. She's the dream, dream of my life. I call her Angel Baby. My name is uh, Tristan Schober. I am the art instructor here at Coastal Bend College. And um, these are all of my wonderful students. This is Drawing One, and I'm so proud of them. They did a wonderful job. We have a wide variety of um, artwork here. Um, it's mainly black and white, since this is Drawing One. It's a fundamentals class. So they're learning the basics of drawing. They're really learning how to lay charcoal on paper, how to um, convey shape and texture, how to um, develop a spatial illusion, depth of field. Um, and we're trying to realistically render um, still life. So, the, so the, most of the class is a still life class. So that's why you see a lot of fabric and a lot of skulls over and over again, because it's all studies, it's all practice, fundamentals, getting the basics of drawing down. 
So like I said, I'm so proud of them. We have, you know, fabric, some beautiful fabric pieces. This is done by um, Gabriel Rodriguez. Both of these are. Um, there was actually a skeleton underneath fabric in this, pi in this picture. And then on this one, he chose to just single out the, um, the hand and the arm of the skeleton and draw that. And I think he just did a wonderful job conveying it. We also have some gesture drawings over here. And, um, you know, they're just really loose, fast gesture drawings. They're done, you know, in a matter of minutes. So this, this drawing right here probably took about maybe 10 or 15 minutes to draw. And I think it's just wonderfully conveys, you know, texture and um, light and shadow very, very, very successfully. But I'm so proud of them. I'm really, really happy with everything that they did. Hi, I'm Bridget LeBlanc. I'm a student here at Coastal Bend, and we're at our student uh, art show. I'm in the design class and the drawing class as well, and we're all having a good time kind of looking at all the art artwork here. Um, I had a lot of fun this semester and I still have a lot to learn so I'm excited for the upcoming semesters. My work is, I don't know, it's just me, I guess. Um, do kind of different things like did some master copies of some pistols and Elvis Presley so I'm a little old school here. Um, I don't know, I just kind of do whatever comes to my mind, I guess. I really like big cats, I don't know. <laughs> So the tiger was kind of fun to do, and of course it's in color, so it pops, and it's, it was fun to do. Um, Self-portrait, that's just me. I, I don't know, I feel like I could have done a lot better, actually. There's always improvement, so. Uh, my name is Delfino Aguilar. Um, I really enjoy Coastal Bend. I uh, really like art. I've been taking art classes this semester. Um, did this drawing over here. Don't know how it came out, but um, uh, I don't know if I'd like to take a look at it, but we can go check. That's all right with y'all. This is it right here. It's a portrait of uh, my dog, Asian, and then a skull. It was a still life. Um, I wish I could have done a lot better on both of them, but uh, due to the little time that we had, I guess they came out pretty decent. Um, it's one thing I've realized that the, it's that there's lots of talent here. And um, uh, if you really want to get far, you got to put in the time. So. Uh, but I guess I'm satisfied. I'm not content with it, but I'm satisfied. So that's pretty much it though. Uh, hi, I'm Alex uh, Lopez. I'm originally, I was born in Houston, but I live in Mineral. Um, I love to draw, I love to draw lots of things. Uh, I like to use AutoCAD. And I recently did a picture in drawing. Would you like to come take a look at it? <laughs> I drew my favorite actress. Her name's Angelina Jolie. Uh, and on top of that, just being creative, drew some skulls that was still alive. Yeah, like I said, it took a lot of erasing and drawing lines in there, but got it done. She looks okay. <laughs> uh, I have, I'm taking two glasses of drafting, and they're both a Jack Young. Pretty good teacher. Because of him, I'm drawing a lot of cool things.